What's up, guys? You're watching The Vickery Beast, and today I'm going to be teaching you, yes, <coughs> you, how to do the whale whistle. This is going to be a really short tutorial, mainly because I already made the laser whistle tutorial, which is a similar position, though it's a really different sound. The laser whistle is and the whale whistle is so the whale whistle is obviously a lot lower in pitch and with the laser whistle you can't fluctuate it around with your fingers which is like the main part of it so anyways you're going to either learn how to do the laser whistle or if you can already do it great but instead of the air coming directly out of your throat in between the two front of your teeth here like You want to direct the air to one side of your cheek. So basically in normal breathing out terms, it would look like this instead of for the laser whistle, it would be you see how one cheek is filling up there. So yeah, transition. You want the air coming out of this side. You can choose a side. For me, I normally go to the left side. That's just natural for me, but you can choose whatever side you want to or whatever feels comfortable. What a lot of people don't realize is, what a lot of people don't realize is the whale whistle, actually, as soon as you touch your cheek, push it in like that, it becomes the laser whistle. So there's also a different one, which I also call it the whale whistle, where if you get good enough at the whale whistle, you can push it out not only one side but both sides which it takes a lot of air so you can't do it for long but that way you can fluctuate on both sides so pressing it in here turns it into a normal whale whistle and then also pressing it in here turns it into a laser whistle so you can get three different levels of the whistle and another really cool way that you can mess with the sound is you can vocalize it either you know normal chest voice or you can use head voice or falsetto. So it can go, or it can go. And you can still fluctuate it just like that. Or even on both sides. Or you can do it just voice or you can even combine it with something like a um, chest bass or throat bass or throat bass you can also pull out your cheek which I found out a different whistle I don't know if I can still do it I can barely do it now but when I had a gap in between my teeth right there, when I had teeth extracted, I could do it really well. It was like a special sound. I used it in a few videos. That's actually not a whale whistle, but you can pull out your cheek for extra airspace with the whale whistle. So it'll sound like this. Which I really love the possibilities of how low that can go. So. There are so many possibilities with this sound. You can even combine that low pulled out cheek one with falsetto or chest voice. But yeah, so that was the whale whistle tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one.